Okay guys, so today I am going to show you how you can import your own font onto your WordPress installation. So normally with WordPress and Elementor, by default you can select among all the different Google fonts. And to be honest, there are plenty to choose from already, but maybe you want to stay consistent with the branding, maybe you've downloaded or purchased your own font online, and you would like to import it on your website, which makes total sense when you think of it. So how can we do that? Well, let me show you very quickly, and as you will see, it is super easy indeed. Okay, so let's imagine for a second that this is your website and this is your landing page with your main hero section here. So this is your logo. If you design your logo, maybe you downloaded a custom font somewhere. And in order to have your branding streamlined, maybe you'd want to use the same font here for your main heading. So let's say you downloaded your font from one of those font websites like dafont.com. And maybe you did scroll down the page and this is where you found your font actually. So let's say this is the one. Now again, this is just an example of course. So let's say this is the font that you used. So let's download it. We save it on our hard drive. And once you have your font downloaded, we can go back to our WordPress dashboard. You're going to plugins, add new. And in the search box, type in custom fonts. And this is the one that we are going to install for custom font by Brainstorm Force. So click install and then activate. And now if we go into appearance, you can see we have an added section here, which is called custom fonts. So click on that and we have to give it a name. So this font was called Spin Wearad. So let's call it the same, Spin Wearad. And now scroll down the page. And from here, select the type of font file that you've downloaded. So there are different types. You have WOFF, TTF, EOT, SVG, and OTF. So these are all font files, basically. And the one we've just downloaded from here is a TTF file. So I'm going to select TTF. So click Upload. We're going to select File. So let's go and select our font here. So it's pinwearat.ttf. So we click Open. Select. And then scroll down the page and then click add new font just like this and now our font has been added to our wordpress website and now we can go and download our page so we're going to pages look at our home page edit with elementor and from here we're going to edit our heading so there you go and we're going to do style and select our font so click on the pencil here and instead of poppins we're going to look for spin and here is our custom font. So as you can see, it's literally underneath the custom tab. So spin where it. Click on this. And there it is. This is our font. So let's have a quick look. So this is slanted. So it's italic. So we can change this as well. Style italic. And now if we click update. And if we go on our website and refresh. As you can see now, our font matches our logo. Now, there are many websites out there where you can download free fonts, but that font is the one I always go back to when I need a font. And the reason is because it's free, you know, all these fonts here are free. And you know what they say, the best things in life are free. So there you go, guys. Just like I said, it is super easy to import your own font onto your WordPress website. So that's all for now. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please consider giving me the thumbs up. It would greatly help grow this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.